visited with Dr. Pete Sexton, we asked him how he reached out to farmers considering a transition to no-till. I think uh, for us, that's kind of the $64,000 question. I don't really have it resolved, Buzz. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess from, what I, from the data we've seen from our trials, over the years, the no-till uh, yields as well as the till system. And sometimes if we have a really wet spring, uh, wet June, we'll see a little bit lower yield with no-till. Okay. And if we have a really hot, dry August, we'll see much better yield with no-till. But no -till. over so time, over the years, it's kind of a wash, and then you have much lower costs. Gotcha. So my approach uh, with it, with somebody that's interested in it, would say, you know, this, your advantage is you're going to have a more stable system in terms of protecting the soil, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, if you have a, a sharp thunderstorm in May and June, you're going to keep a lot more of the soil there. And, and probably the moisture as well. And the moisture as well. Yeah. So it's good for your soil, it costs less, and over time, you, you know, an individual year it might help you, it might not. But over, on average, you're really not losing anything in terms of yield. Okay, then what does transition to no-till look like? And how do we navigate it? Well, that's exactly the subject of our next video as we continue our discussion with Dr. Sexton. See you all soon. Thank you.